Let's start at number 10 this week in my power rankings. Alex, new team here. Yeah. I You've said been during hot on the, them. Hot on them? Yeah, I'm big on them. Mm -hmm. I also said last week that I regret not putting them in my top 10 yes. last week. The Seattle Mariners. They are here. They were not ranked last week, haven't been for a little while. They are 63 and 53 and have made quite the playoff push mm -hmm. and gotten themselves in contention. Uh, they are sitting just on the outside of a playoff spot right now behind the Toronto Blue Jays, but the Mariners are at number 10. At number nine, holding strong this week, the Phillies. Yeah, the Phillies have been, the Phillies are one of the best teams in the National League. We're just yep. not talking about them enough because the Braves are going to win that division, meaning the Phillies will end up with a wild card spot, but the Phillies have the third best record in all of the National League. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. They are 65 and 54 team number nine for me this week. Number eight, also holding strong, the Tampa Bay Rays. Yep. Rays just chilling right here. They're just 71 and 49. The Rays. I gave them a big bump down a few weeks ago, and um, I still, they've just been kind of floating right there ever yeah. since. They haven't done enough to get moved back up for me. Uh, they're not playing like one of the best teams. They're not playing like a top, you know, what they're, they're not playing like what their record would state yeah. they are. They're currently on top of the AL wildcard race, but over the last few months, it's just been about 500 and, and mediocre baseball. They're a good, not great team right now. That's why I have them down here at number eight. Number seven, also same as last week, the Cubs. Yeah, the Cubbies have been playing great baseball for uh, really since the All-Star break. They're 61 and 57. They're fighting for that NL wild card spot. They're right yep. on the they I think if the season were to end today, they are either right they're I think they're in a wild card spot just on the outside of it. They're within a half game one way or another. But the Cubbies are a blast right now. They're at number seven. And they uh, took the series against the team at number six this weekend, the Blue Jays. Which brings back my argument from the beginning. Well, my team yeah. beat that team. <laughs> but this team, did they beat that team? Okay, number six, the Blue uh, Jays, 66 and 54. Uh, they are in that very tight race with the Mariners. And yep. that uh, the AL wildcard race is going to be quite the finish. Blue Jays are playing good baseball. The offense kind of woke up over the weekend, and uh, they had that series against the Guardians where they just weren't putting up any runs. But good weekend series, 66 and 54. Um, yeah, I'll go uh, Blue Jays at number six. Moving into your top five at number five, down one spot, the Astros. Yeah, Astros got bumped down one. Uh, this will all make sense in a little while, but 68 and 51. Beat the Angels in that weekend series. Couldn't, couldn't quite complete the sweep on Sunday. Yeah. Uh, the offense struggled a little bit there, so they end up losing on Sunday. Uh, Astros, very good. They are in my top five at number five. Number four, the team just above the Astros in the AOS as well, but down one spot in your rankings, the Rangers. This is another big one that everybody likes to comment about because the Rangers really, really struggle against the Astros. I mean, yeah. the Astros dominate them in that head-to-head -head series. However, at a certain point, you got to look at the season as a whole. They are 70 and 48. They are on top of the AL West, and they are not slowing down. Mm -hmm. They went out and they added at the trade deadline. They've been fantastic since the trade deadline. Rangers, number four. Talk about being fantastic at the trade deadline. Team number three has won eight games in a row, only lost one game since the deadline. The Dodgers or at number two, up two spots. Uh, at number three, up two three, spots. Um, yeah, they were, what, five last week? I guess that's how math yeah. works, right? Up two spots math from five. Math is hard. I'm, math is hard. Thank I, you. They are uh, 70. I think because I wanted them at two. <laughs> no, I was struggling. I was not <laughs> mathing. And Alec, the, the Dodgers are number one, Ben, right? Right? No. <laughs> Dodgers, Dodgers are at here number three. at number three. They're 71 and 46, and they are really, really firing on all cylinders right now. The acquisitions they did make weren't the sexy, big acquisitions at the trade deadline, but they've certainly proven to be very helpful. Lance Lynn uh, eating some big innings for them. Uh, he's been really good. Ryan Yarbrough eating some big innings as well, and that bullpen came in and was really good for them. Uh, just everywhere you look, besides don't look too hard at the bullpen, but everywhere else you look, okay. offense, sure. top-notch. Starters have been really good lately, so uh, Dodgers got a good little bump up to number three. Number two, holding strong, the Orioles. Yep, Orioles are 73 and 45, or if you ask their broadcasters, they are 180 and 0 this year, but they are still at number two. Uh, 
<laughs> or the, the ownership, I should say. Okay. That's what you got to say. Okay. Uh, the Orioles are the best team in the American League. And I said it last week. I think they grabbed the number one seed in the American League this year. Uh, I would have loved to see them do more pitching-wise at the deadline, but they did not. They added Jack Flaherty, who has been pretty good for them so far, really yep. good in his first start. The Orioles rake, absolutely rake, and they are number two for me. And at number one, the best team in baseball right now, the Atlanta Braves. Yep, the Braves are the best team in baseball. They're 75 and 42, um, one through nine. There's, there's nobody better. I mean, what they just did to the Mets – and that doubleheader on Saturday. I know they, I know they just lost on, on Sunday, but they had a doubleheader against the Mets where they combined won the doubleheader 27 to three. Wow. Their offense is just relentless. It does not stop. Right now, the only way you can beat the Braves, and they did go on a they they weren't great from the all-star game on for a little bit, but it feels like they're back now. Unless you're scoring eight runs against the Braves, it feels like you're going to, it feels like you're going to lose. And uh, they're just, yeah, to me, they are the clear and obvious best team in baseball right now. Yeah, they are. And that rounds out this week's top 10 Mariners, Phillies, Rays, Cubs, Blue Jays, Astros, Rangers, Dodgers, Orioles, and the Braves round out this week's new top 10 major league baseball power rankings.